Mikros sind offen, ich kann es äh, losnehmen. Ähm, hallo, herzlich willkommen hier auf der Boot äh, 2023 auf der, am Nimbus-Stand, auf der Nimbus T8. Äh, wir haben Montagnachmittag und äh, ich möchte mich, es gibt zwar schon die Kommentare, ich soll mich nicht entschuldigen, aber ich möchte mich trotzdem gerade entschuldigen, wir sind zehn Minuten zu spät. Wir haben jetzt, ich weiß nicht, wie viele Live-Sessions gemacht, zehn. Und wir hatten jetzt gerade einen Fehler, den wir bis dato noch nicht hatten. Also deswegen sind wir ein bisschen zu spät. Und, äh, aber es geht jetzt los und ich habe hier bei mir auf der T8 vorne auf dem Vorschiff sitzen Karin Sundberg. Ähm, Karin spricht natürlich kein Deutsch. Karin ist, die, eine Desi ist Designerin bei Nimbus seit äh, sieben Jahren ähm, und ist auch für viele Sachen hier auf dem Schiff verantwortlich. Um, but I, I just switching in English now, so you understand me. Um, and what, what um, I think is very important for me is like with Nimbus, we always talk about this, this big family thing. I had the amazing pleasure to even be part of your Christmas yeah. party this year yeah. because I was there for uh, uh, like, it was, it was not planned. It was more or less a coincidence. Uh, I wanted uh, to come up to see the factory again because of the COVID times, I, I couldn't. Really, and I was really missing this uh, visit. Uh, I, I normally do very uh, uh, continuously in Sweden, and I wasn't there for a long time. And then, by coincidence, there was the Christmas party in Langedag, yeah. and uh, that, that was an amazing evening because I really could see um, how, how um, like, how you, un uh, unique, united group you are. And uh, you, there was some some games you did yeah. this evening. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> so we were put into groups. And uh, yeah, that, that was uh, a very, very nice evening. But uh, this I just remember um, from the show. And your amazing speech. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I did, yeah, true. Because I, I, we, um, we have uh, 40 years of Nimbus, my family this year. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I even was, um, I realized that evening that I was, oh God, the oldest person, not oldest by age, yeah. but the person who was probably The, the longest in that building yeah. in Langedrag from all people yes, sitting yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah? So, so, so like the oldest, not employee, but the oldest um, yeah. family uh, member. Family <laughs> member. Yeah, true, true. The others, the others left. <laughs> Too old. <laughs> no. So, but, but uh, what, what is really nice to see in Nimbus, uh, th there's uh, s several women's, which you know sounds a little bit weird now because why is he saying that? But we all know that this industry is very uh, man dominated. Yeah. Um, um, on the customer side somehow also because um, very often the man is the first contact when it comes to buying a boat mm. but um, also inside of the companies like I'm trying also in my company I need to count I've, I've like we are six women now um, but I also you know five years ago it was also one so so I really also want this um, this more input that women can give into this boating world is very mm. important for me in, in, in Germany but you as a designer uh, I think this is very 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 important that um, the input is from a, a different uh, you know don't get me wrong from the different Angle. side of the world yeah, <laughs> like yeah. as, a, as you yeah. other things are important for you yeah. uh, boating yeah and you and, and but this would be I think a little bit um, not so good if you not would be what you are, you're a boater by heart, isn't yeah. it like this? Yes. So tell me a little bit how you grew up and, and what you do in, in like beside being at Nimbus. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I am born and grew up in Stockholm uh, and my family has um, a country house uh, quite far out in the Stockholm's archipelago uh, where we've been spending all of uh, our free time. Uh, both during winter and uh, during winters on a snowmobile to get out. Okay. And uh, when it's no ice, of course, on a typical commuter boat. So, so, so just to, to so, so when the sea is frozen, yeah, you change the yeah. boat into a ski mobile. Yeah. And you driving that yourself then? Uh, uh, is it from boat age on? Yeah, yeah. Of, unfortunately, uh, the the ice in Stockholm uh, disappeared uh, around 15 years ago. Okay, so we have uh, a global warming so, situation. Yeah, exactly. So until I was uh, 18, at least. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, we are uh, like um, what I want to say again with with women in the boating industry, I, I, like. I think they are the most important because when I look at from the sales side, no man would present uh, his wife, girlfriend, whatever, a boat 
mm. which you would not like to buy. No. So in the end, I think the women are anyway yeah. the big, this yeah. biggest decision yes. maker in yeah. the boating world, yeah. which is I think a little bit underestimated. Yeah. When it comes to this boat we are sitting on now, the T8, have mm -hmm. you been involved in, in, in this project of the T8? Yes. Okay. Yes. What what would you pinpoint here? What, what is what is great on this boat? On your on your point on is point of how, view? How how easy it is to move? Okay. Uh, and I have two small children mm -hmm. uh, to bring them up and down from the dock. Uh, how, how safe they can walk yes, on here? Yes. So, so you're not worried yeah, no. because you cannot block them just in the back, so they no. can also yeah, exactly. walk here in the front. Yeah. And uh, of course, uh, this is. Uh, We've been using this kind of boat a lot when we have been out in Gothenburg archipelago to uh, bath and uh, have a sunny, fun day. Mm -hmm. And for the children to go is, inside, yeah, be to protected, have a, yeah, like, a, like a, a cave. Uh, yeah, and it's sleep for two hours. And uh, me and my husband, we can relax in the aft. Mm -hmm just have a nice time and uh, the outboard has it always been a, a concept for you or when you've been boating with your parents was it an inboard boat yeah, my, my dad always has been having inboard uh, okay. and uh, my boats have always been outboard so so uh, for you all board is, is yeah. the the decision yeah um, because it's just uh, lower noise uh, yeah easier yeah. maintenance yeah of course and uh, as well as uh, we don't uh, uh, use uh, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, Pontoons? The, no, the the color on the hull. Uh, Are you not anti fouling? Yeah. So you uh, trade the boat out then? Yes, exactly. Okay, so that, not, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Every once a week we take the boats up and just uh, take the high pressure uh, water. Okay, okay. Uh, and then when, when it's cold, you leave the, the boat. We in? take them up okay. on uh, our own on the on the island. On uh, the island, yeah, okay, outside. Yeah, okay. With the ATV. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. So, so you, you more or less yeah, you do you're using the boat really as a trailer boat like once a week out. Okay, that's yeah. that's, uh, that's that's very interesting. Wait, so you you're working together with um, Joachim. We had him in the interview yesterday. Yeah. So is there a, like a, di a special defined role you have in the design team? Yeah, uh, as a naval architect. Yeah. Uh, so I do all the calculations. Uh, all the stability. Uh, so really, on the technical side. Yes. Even then. Okay. Yes, and uh, all the um, um, uh, scan things is called uh, to make the hull uh, uh, safe. Efficient. Uh, yeah. Safe. Uh, safe. safe. Yeah. Okay. So with the impact and everything in uh, in a really rough sea. Okay. Uh, I am also responsible for all the sea marking. Okay. Good. Um, and and um, what is then? You know, you probably have a guideline from the CEO, from, from the management team, what the, the Nimbus should be able to handle. So is, is it, what is the, is it, is it more on, on vo volume and comfort on board or is it seaworthiness? What you would say is a core value from, oh, from, from a Nimbus? Of course, uh, seaworthiness. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's not, there's no compromises done against you for just having no, more, it, more space. It, the it's boat always needs to be safe. Uh, it shouldn't be breaking too. <laughs> no, no, this anyway not. So but, it, but it should also be seaworthy and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and comfortable yeah, riding, yeah. dry, yeah. and being functional on board, yeah, for, for sure. Yeah. And um, how many? Are, and I, I ask you, Joachim, so you're eight in the design team nowadays. Now no? we are eight. Yeah, yeah he yeah, said that yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying that like this. So you were. Yeah, you I, were, were, I were alone the first years with, uh, with Joachim and Mats. Okay. Uh, so I'm really happy that the team is. Uh, really grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, my new colleagues are all amazing. So it's really fun. So it's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. good. So, so that's a good feeling when, it, when, it, when a bigger team, yeah. you just get things done. Yeah. yeah? So, yeah. so that, that, that's mm. really nice. Yeah. And and um, going going back a little bit, so so Nimbus was your so you came. What my first job? Was your yeah, first job? Yeah. So so then you you were working with with your team like to work with him. Like yeah. you said, just it's great to have eight people now. Yeah. But also on the other side with somebody working, somebody as experienced as your team. Yeah. This yeah. has been also yes. for you yeah. like a probably a hard time a little bit because you have to do so many things, but also very growing time yeah, as you I got mean, so as much a, as a first job uh, amazing yes uh, i i am so glad that i had the opportunity yeah, because i, I, I know your teams since yeah. the first day yeah. inside of nimbus and uh, i don't uh, know hardly anybody in this branch which is 
so passion mm. still himself bolter yeah lives but on an also island lives on yeah. an island and but on the other hand still has this you can see it even when you meet him yeah. he's a designer yeah. by, by yeah. heart yeah so the all these combinations yeah. uh, um, you can i think this you can see in in, in all the boats he has done in the yeah. in the last uh, it's in uh, his 50 DNA. years it's in yeah. his dna yeah, yeah. Oh, no that's it's really nice mm. so um we had i think one question so far um if the t8 uh, um Zoran told me if the t8 would be available with uh, diesel outboards um so there there is um, w w as you know we are working with the the cox uh, outboards uh, the english manufacturer you decided uh, inside because for the swedish manufacturer which is mm. oaks mm. um, you tested them on the t11 so, yeah. so this is i think uh, something absolutely to announce i think yeah. people don't know that yet mm. have there been any uh, ideas of doing it also in the diesel outboards on the smaller boats uh, yeah. yet? If ideas there, maybe but yeah, nothing decided and nothing uh, uh, on the table right now because they have yeah. a smaller engine oxa uh, as well yes no? 150 uh, horsepower or something yeah exactly yeah. Uh, and uh, of course we can we can try it yeah. uh, but I nothing mean, but really on the, on the table so um the oxa has a smaller engine just for the mm. for the answer also the oxa uh, es gibt ja zwei dieselhersteller es gibt einmal cox und einmal oaks wir haben in Tram Traber entschieden, mit dem englischen Hersteller sehr eng zusammenarbeiten. Das ist Cox. Da haben wir auch die Axe 37, die T11 und so weiter mit ähm, ähm, repowered oder motorisiert. Und dann gibt es, ähm, ich muss ja darüber reden, Radarkamera. Und dann gibt es ähm, alternativ noch oder einen schwedischen Hersteller, Oxe, mit dem hat äh, Nimbus eine Kooperation ist er eingegangen. Das ist die mit der auf der T11 gab es einen Test und wie gesagt, Nimbus hat entschieden, mit dem Hersteller zu gehen. Und da gibt es auch einen 150 PS Motor. Das könnte vielleicht sogar eine Möglichkeit sein hier auf der T8. Zu dem Cox selber als 300 PS Motor möchte ich behaupten, dass der einfach zu schwer ist für die ähm, T8 oder C8, weil wir von etwa 150 Kilo mehr sprechen wie bei einem Verado V8. Also das ähm, müsste evaluiert werden. So, um, um, to decide if there's a diesel engine, for example, the Cox or Oaks 300 would fit on the boat, it would be your job to evaluate if, yes. the, if the weight of the, yeah. of the, bo of the um, engine is, is to be um, in the CE regulations first, mm -hmm. yeah. and second, if the transom can hold the yeah. extra yes. uh, mon momentum yeah. of the diesel engine. Yeah. So this is not a, das ist nicht eine Entscheidung, die wir einfach treffen können und sagen, das ist 300 PS, die schrauben wir jetzt einfach da drauf sondern das ist eine Entscheidung, die ganz klar äh, im erstmal im Designabteilung bei Karen entschieden werden muss, ob so ein Motor da drauf passt. Um, so, but you're not using this kind of boat nowadays, as you a long time like in, in the past you had smaller commuters, but yeah. now, um, as you said, you you're using the boat all year round. So mm -hmm. you're using a, a, a definitely like a C8 in yes. in, uh, in Stockholm yeah. to get out uh, on the archipel because. This one is available with heater and so on, yeah, but yeah. you are driving I, below zero. I love zero. to close the door. You love to yeah. close the door. So um, you want to have an enclosed, safe feeling, yeah, like uh, in a car. We take uh, uh, every second weekend, we go from Gothenburg to Stockholm with car. Okay. Uh, that's five hours. Because so that's to meet your family, like your grandparents, so the children meet the I, grandparents. No, my parents. Uh, um, yeah, the, the grandparents from the from the children. Yes, yeah. exactly, yeah. and my my siblings. Yeah. And uh, uh, we go with car for five hours. Yeah. To we have a, uh, you know, we, we have our boat. It's quite far out on the Vinda in Stockholm, and uh, we always arrive really really late on Fridays, maybe eleven. Okay. Uh, and then you don't want to go on an open boat. No, uh, which exactly. Doesn't feel safe. The children are sleeping. Uh, and okay. Uh, okay. then we just put the children in the boat, put all of the food and uh, every, we always, I have flowers and everything with me, uh, put them in the boat and uh, uh, it's that sounds six amazing. Uh, nautical miles from that place. How, how to many nautical miles? Six. Six nautical miles. Yeah. But you go then for the full dark? Yes. Okay. You have a FLIR camera or something then? No, just chart plot? No, to be honest, uh, it's always hard with the navigation lights because when it's completely dark... So you just turn everything off, I do the same. Yes, <laughs> uh, and uh, of course I put it on sometimes, yeah, but, but when I, it's, especially when it's so uh, your cloudy... Pupil, the pupils open yeah, and you, you see... Yeah, yeah, because when it's really, really cloudy, yeah. uh, then the Stockholm's archipelago is really dark. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because it's a lot of islands. Uh, so it's important for you to have this this straight window. Yeah, yes, 
uh, yeah. because otherwise if you would have yeah. an, an, like a, a like a normal window yeah. uh, direction yeah. then you couldn't see anything and you would need to put your head yes, out exactly. which would be too cold yeah. Uh, yeah so with this with the straight window just yeah. you just need to take all the lights inside yeah. more or less off and uh, i mean the side door is also really important because when we uh, when we arrived uh, at the dock uh, and uh, we don't have any lights on uh, then it's so nice just to open the door and you have on an arm length the, the you have the central yeah, cleat yeah, and you're just yeah. getting out yeah. and uh, during the the daytime do the kids how old the kids uh, two and four two and four yeah. so the four years old can you can, see already she started she, this she's summer a, okay. yes she's already, yeah. because we had nicholas here uh, yesterday and mm -hmm. he was telling that he's uh, six years old she's yeah. like he's standing on the back of the 305 and uh, yeah. you know and, and people get like really scared in the harbor mm. did he miss something and the yeah. six year old is just mooring the yeah. boat and driving yeah. it in so so you're on the same track yeah, with your, your she's daughter. always uh, up first with uh, with the lines and uh, yeah okay very very nice yeah have you any frage or so we just maybe just do the small walk to the yeah. C8 yeah uh, so we can just pinpoint three four things yep on, on that boat just um, Können wir vielleicht noch mal gerade zwei, drei Sachen hier zu T8 sagen. Wir haben ja das neue Dach, in dem Fall als, als GFK-Dach mit den optional Roof Racks. Und wir haben hier in der Ausstattung die Stormpolsterung, ein Teak Deck. Das Schiff ist äh, noch zu haben für die Saison 2023. Perfektes Trailerboot mit dreieinhalb Tonnen Anhänger. Und jetzt gehen wir zu C8. Das Boot, was Karin nutzt mit ihrer Familie, mit den Kindern. Das, was sie, so what you described, is also probably, are you putting the, the, the staff, that this is a loading hatch yeah. here? Yes. So you, you're taking all the, the stuff when you're getting on board, yeah. you, you're putting it the in here? The things that need to be inside. Yeah. And it was really important to have an open area here, here yeah. where you can put, uh, you know, the bags in the rubber. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, yeah. So okay. there you can put here and all the and food other stuff and everything in, in, in. inside. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm 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 saying very often, this is like a small coupé. Yeah. So for, for even customers who had a coupé boat, mm -hmm. maybe the, the the wife or the family doesn't want to go boating as they did before yeah. it can be still um, like a possibility to be more mobile mm. having your SUV and and dragging it like pulling it somewhere yeah. and still having when you drive it you have a full coupe feeling because yeah. there's the wood interior yeah. you have the big doors yeah. so it's really an enclosed um, nice boat yeah. to be on and then but you don't have fishing rods or do you no you're no good. the fish in the baltic sea is dead is that oh yes, that's it not is. so yeah. so it's the global warming yes, as well it is. <laughs> so uh, we have no ice no fish i know <laughs> but you have more sun that's then, why no? i live on the west coast <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> but is, is there then more sun now then like it's uh, uh, more sun hours yeah it is then, then yes. 15 years yeah, ago the summers are amazing okay so, uh, so there's i one. come back brown uh, but the people in gothenburg are still pale no <laughs> i'm just kidding but almost <laughs> good yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. uh, one feature in here in the C8 also is that the uh, off sofa here yeah. is a little bit higher yes. uh, than the driver's seat. Ah, yeah, that's uh, I, uh, I didn't know so that. It's very really nice uh, when you sit in here the back, so that you, you see. So you yeah. can just look a little bit above the, yeah. the driver, not when you're that tall than you are. No. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> but no, that, that's um, uh, definitely. No, good. Um, if there's no questions um, from um, these. To the T8, wenn dann keine Fragen mehr sind zur T8 oder C8, ähm, war es das hier vom Live von, der, von den beiden Schiffen, von der Boot 2023 hier am Nimbus stand. Karen, uh, thank you very much for thank your time you, and, and uh, <laughs> congratulations for an amazing lifestyle, I have to say. Yeah? Like thank you. Boating at night with children to an island. I think this is, uh, das ist uh, ja, nicht was jeder macht und uh, ich bin stolz darauf, dass wir so tolle. Leute im Nimbus Design Team haben. Vielen Dank. Vielen Dank. Okay.